Hey everyone, it's Grace from Kapwing and I'm going to show you how to remove a certain color from a video using chroma key technology that works online. This works for removing green, blue, or really any color from the video and can help you add special effects to your videos in addition to making things like green screen memes, reaction videos, and other customized video content. Once the video is transparent, you'll be able to add a new background to the video, whether that background is a GIF, an image, or another video. We're going to be using an editor called Kapwing to do this. In addition to being online, it's completely free if your video is 7 minutes or less and less than 250 megabytes but processing videos in the cloud does get expensive for us, so you'll need to upgrade to Kapwing Pro if your video is bigger than that. Without further ado, let's get into it. To edit green screen or chroma key videos online, just go to the first link in the description below and click that, and you'll be taken to this tool, Kapwing. So you don't even need to sign in to get started. All you have to do is click start editing. We have a bunch of templates in the description below where the green screen is already removed. If you are looking for like a classic template or meme, check those out first. We might already have one. If you don't see a template that you want us to make, then just let us know in the comments below. But uh, to green screen any video or chroma key any video, you can either upload your file from like your local device or you can paste a link. I'm gonna start with a green screen, but this editor can do green screen, blue screen, like any color. So I found this video that I'm just gonna copy the link to it and then go back to Kapwing and paste that right in. So it pulls up the video and there's the green screen. To remove the background from the video, just click the video and then click effects on the right side here, then click chroma key and the green automatically is selected. This slider adjusts the threshold of what is considered green and not. So as you slide along, you can see that more or less pixels will be removed from the non-green part. So if you move it to the left, more of the pixel, more of the image is left in, and you can see there's a little bit of green starting to, pe to creep in. And then if you move it all the way to the right, it tries to remove every single bit of the green screen. So usually somewhere in the middle is a pretty good compromise. And one thing to note is that the frame rate is going to be decreased while you're editing. When you export the video to download later, the video will look like the original just without the green screen. So I'm going to play a few seconds here just so you can see what I'm talking about. Another one. Another one. This one's pretty good, but sometimes the frame rate is, is a little bit reduced when you're editing. But yeah, so this was the green channel. And now that you've removed the green, you can add whatever background you want. So whether that's an image, a GIF, or a video, you can add it behind this clip. So for example, um, you can either upload these assets from your local files, or you can just search in the images tab for images or GIFs. And this sources from Google Images. So if I just say like wall background, and then choose one. You can send it backward. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see this. On the right hand side, there's a send backward button and that's how you can rearrange layers. So just click send backward and then it'll be behind the original video. And you can see that it's transparent with no green screen. Another one. I so that was with a green screen video. I'm gonna show uh, a blue screen video as well. So this is another video and I just copied the link, went back here, deleted that one and then paste it. So same process, gonna go to effects, click chroma and then click blue. And it immediately removes all the blue. You can adjust the threshold again on the side here, um, but if it's a clear cut video, it should be pretty simple. And the frame rate will also be a little bit decreased as you can see. Then you can add your background. This also works with any color. So that's the chroma key part is like, you can just do key to color on the side here and select whatever color you want to remove. And it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but if the background is pretty united in color, um, it can work pretty well. So I'm just gonna upload a video that I took of myself as an example. So you can see that the background is, I tried to make it a single color. This is just a wall in my house. Um, and then if I click effects and then chroma key and then key to color, you can either choose a color from this palette here or type in a hex code. You can also use this color picker tool on the right here 
to select whatever color you want to remove. So if you move over the pixels on this image, you can see that the right side, the color is changing. So whatever color you choose, it will remove that. So I'm going to just choose this background wall color. And you can see it removed a lot more. That's where you can use the other sliders down here to adjust what exact brightness and saturation it chooses to remove. So use these sliders. Um, you might have to like play around with them a little bit. Okay, so I think I found a place where most of the background is removed. So as you can see, the hue is like kind of towards the right and the saturation and brightness are more towards the left. And that really is just trial and error, like playing around with those sliders and seeing how the different colors change in your image. So now I can add my own background. And this is what it looks like. So it's pretty good. Um, I think it, it, especially when you have a background behind it, it, the tiny little errors aren't as noticeable. And obviously the more solid the color is behind you and more unified, the easier that removing it will be. Another setting we have to remove backgrounds, even if you don't have a green screen or a certain color, um, as long as a human object and face is in it, you can go to effects. And then instead of chroma key, you can just click remove background. This process isn't perfect either, but it does a pretty good job of uh, getting the background of any color, really. And you can adjust the threshold to leave in more of the photo or cut out some more. But yeah, this the remove background only works with like human subjects and faces. So if you're trying to chrome, if you're trying to remove the background of uh, other non-human things, chroma key is probably a bet a better bet. So once you're done with your video. You can just click export video on this side here and then you're, it'll start processing. My video is on processing. As you can see, I added a new background after removing the, green, the blue screen and using chroma key. You might notice a small watermark in the corner here that says Kapwing. To remove that is completely free. All you have to do is just sign into your account. So just clicking here and then signing in with either a Google or Facebook account. I just signed in and as you can see, there's no more watermark. I'm just gonna click download to save the video to my device and then you can always go back in, edit or make a copy of the project. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips. We're always looking for more video ideas, so drop us a comment, let us know what video ideas you have and things you wanna see on this channel and we'll see you in the next one.